All right, so here we go. <clears throat> like I said, this is the last little bit of our game for a couple weeks, but you will have a game in which you run around, your character shoots, the bad guys disappear when they collide with the arrows, and you have a health. Your game will never end because we haven't put any end parameters on it. So, like, as soon as your health gets below zero, end the game. Or if you get to a certain point in the game, time-wise, we don't have a timer yet. All that sort of stuff is... This is the chunk of code that does that specific thing, and there's not much, whatever. Um, so, what we're going to do today is, um, we have our bad guys. Wait, do we only have health left to do? All right, let's find out. Let, let's. So, this is what our game should look like now. <clears throat> so, our character can run, and if you want... How would you guys have health disappear if a badger runs into our bunny? Oh, the rabbit itself or the little rabbits? If, if the rabbit itself, so like if I hit that badger, it would disappear and I would lose health. Thorn? You could have like a little bar above the, or above or below the rabbit. What do you mean? You could have a health bar above or below the rabbit. Oh, are you are you just asking how we would do that in Python? How you would do that in general, uh, Jason? You go into the uh, basically wherever you want to put the code, and then basically go and take the hit boxes. Um, you basically do an if statement where it's like taking both the hitbox and then being like, well, if this hit, if this hitbox runs into this one, then go in between like a certain amount of numbers or a very specified number. Yeah, the easiest way is you would create a rectangle around your character, <clears throat> and then you would have something very similar to this right here. Uh, so what we're going to do today is, let me just make sure we put this in the right spot, uh, screened up with health bar. All right, so we need to get our health bar and our health. Now there are two very, there's a big difference between health bar and health. If you look, health bar is going to look, it's just going to look like a black box. Right with this black border that happens to be eight megapixels or eight pixels wide, just FYI. And inside, this is again, this is our health bar. It's going to be red. Okay, health is going to be one pixel wide, green little thing. <clears throat> so what we do is our game will. For whatever our health value is, say our health is 150, it's going to say 4x in range of health value, so x until 150. Um, apologize. Um, what it's going to do is it's going to blit one. Now imagine these are really, really close together because I don't want to draw that. Until you have a bar that corresponds to how much health you have left. So health is the actual one little, the one pixel wide green sliver, and the health bar is the black and red bar in which the health value sits. So again, what you guys are gonna wanna do is copy and paste those, copy and paste one of these, and you're going to have health and health bar oh gosh come on and it's going to be health health and health bar and I'll put these in the I will put these in the uh, oh 
oh my gosh, what can I talk right now? Um, and the student resources, yeah. So you guys will need to go online and, and download those real quick. But uh, Python scripts, resources, images. There you go. So they're there, you guys should have them. And so again, once you add those, if you run your game, nothing is going to change, right? You'll still have this game of your guy, of your bunny just running around. Once you have, once you have those two lines of code and you've downloaded the images, just take a look up here. What? Do I? Who is that? The, which one? Oh, no, this is just the home page. This is just what shows up. No, I was thinking, I was, this is going to be like a totally useless part of the video, but. Uh, uh, Legend of Zelda music. Hopefully this has. No, it's like, what's the main one? go to YouTube does everyone have has everyone downloaded everything the that's the only reason why I'm doing this oh look oh they got a new Star Wars trailer yeah rise of Skywalker please let this be it yeah it is so this is what I was saying. <laughs> this is actually my uh, ringtone. All right, I'm going to presume everyone else has uh, gotten what they need to. So now the next thing we're going to do, we need to blit our health bar. So right after we blit our bad guys, we're going to blit our health bar. So screen.blit. Health bar. And then what are the coordinates for this again? Five, five. Five comma five. So now when we run it, there's our health bar. So it's just this line right here. Actually, no, that black bar is three megapixels, three pixels, not eight. All right, so now what we need to do is we, do, we need a uh, for loop to go through our health value. So we're going to go for is it health one. Yeah. Health one in range health value. Green dot blit health comma uh, health one plus eight comma eight. 
Now, I'm going to ask you guys to explain those numbers to me in just a minute. So what I, I want you guys to think the width, the width of the border in the health bar is three pixels. So that should help. Chad, you got any idea? Hmm. Health one plus eight comma eight. How you doing, Mason? You got it? Okay. Do you have any idea why it's plus eight? Or anything? Okay. Try to figure it out. Chad, you too. Thorne, you got an idea? Uh, so we blitted the health bar five pixels from the x-axis. Mm -hmm. Then the line on the outside of the health bar is three pixels wide. Mm -hmm. Which would give us eight. Mm -hmm. And health one would start at zero. Yep. And then... So it would start, it would blit the first bit of help on the uh, Well, what would happen if we don't have the plus eight? Then it would start blitting help on the end of, on the edge of the screen touching the x-axis. Correct. So, Andrew, what's so funny? Uh, Jack killed me in the game. Are you guys playing? How Jack is my bad guy. I don't think so Jack is my bad guy. Okay. Don't be editing the game just yet. Um, so, I'm gonna restart this. So if we have plus eight, oops. Right, our health, I, you guys can't really see, but it's not at the very, very top it's not the edge, it's not zero, zero of the screen. It's five, five. So it's five pixels down and five pixels across. And the width of our black bar is three. So if we don't have this eight, like Thorne said, it's going to start blitting. It doesn't fill the bar all the way. The reason our health is 194 is because that's how many pixels wide the health bar is. So otherwise, you guys see that it's right up against the wall, right up against the edge of the screen, right? So you have to have plus something, and if we did plus, you know, three, because we have to take into a value, we have taken the value of the width of the of the black bar. You can still see it's not right matched up with the. Uh, it's in between the edge of the screen and the edge of the bar, so it's got to be plus eight in order for it to fill the bar totally and to be kept within that health bar. Does that make sense? Okay. So we finished that way faster than I thought because I, for some reason, thought this would take a lot longer. Um, so what we need to do is we are going to add the winning and losing screens or how to win and lose. So basically, let me just double check. Oh, well question, do you guys wanna do the winning or losing or do you wanna get, or do you want the timer on the screen? Which one do you wanna to do today? The timer? Okay, so the timer, this is all you need for the timer. And I'm gonna walk you guys through this. Again, do not copy this while I'm talking. Pay attention, go through it, ask me questions, and then you guys can start writing this down. So, what this is doing is font, this is basically figuring out what font you want your, your timer to be in. Uh, we're not picking anything specific, just kind of there's no extra formatting to it, and we're doing size 24. Just so you guys know, the size is the, uh, if I remember correctly, 
it's the number of pixels tall the the uh, the letters are and 72 is equal to one inch so if you're printing paper and the size of the font is 72 72 it stands for 72 pixels that's one inch bit that's one inch just helpful information so we're gonna go 24 now minutes <clears throat> What this is doing is this is figuring out how many minutes are left in the game and how many seconds. Uh, what this is doing is 90,000 minus pygame.time.get ticks. What that is doing is that counts how many milliseconds have, ha have passed since the game started. A tick is one thousandth of a second, which is one millisecond. 90 seconds is how many milliseconds? If one second... There's a thousand. There's a thousand milliseconds in one second. Ninety thousand, and that's why this is ninety thousand. So what we're doing is we're subtracting. Say the game has been going for fifteen seconds, right? That is how many milliseconds, Chad? Fifteen. Which is fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. So we would do 90,000 minus 15,000, which gives us what? 75,000 milliseconds. And we divide that by 60. What does that give us? One point two five. Yep. And so that's and then we do the integer version of that number. So what's the integer version of one point two five? one so minutes is one so we're only ever going to have one be it's only it's for 90 seconds so we're gonna have one minute and blank number of seconds when this gets to under 60 this is we are getting 45,000 milliseconds divided by 60,000 which equals what point seven five the integer version of point seven five is zero so then we're gonna have zero colon and then the number of seconds what this figures out here it's the same thing ninety thousand minus pi game dot get ticks divided by a thousand divided by sixty so what that does is that gives you the number of seconds Again, so let's go with, let's say there is, we've, let's play for 15 seconds. So this is going to be 90,000 minus 15,000, which is 75,000. And I can't remember if it's divided by 1,000, then that gets divided. Yeah, that's got to be it. Um, so that would be what? 75,000 divided by 1,000 gives us what? Seventy-five, and then seventy-five divided by this gives us the remainder of sixty. So seventy-five. So if we have seventy-five seconds, that's one minute and how many seconds? Fifteen seconds. If <clears throat> what is seventy-five remainder divide by sixty? Three, rem three remainder divide, I can't remember the exact term for it, by one is what? By two is what, I mean. Two goes into three with how many remainder? One. 60 goes into 75 with how much is the remainder? 15. 15, so that's how we get in the number of seconds. You want me to go over that again? Yes, okay. So 90,000 minus the number of milliseconds the game has been going. So let's say it's been going for exactly 15 seconds. That'll give us 15 milliseconds or 15, or, I'm sorry, 15,000 milliseconds or 15,000 ticks. And this might be easier to do in the shell. So, so let's say I have 90,000 minus 15,000. That gives us 75,000, right? We are going to 75,000, divide that by 1,000, right? Because we don't want to deal with milliseconds anymore. We want to deal with actual <clears throat> seconds. So that gives us 75 seconds. And if we do 75% sine 60, that gives us 15. 
because 60 goes into 75 how many times? One time with how much left over? 15. So that gives us one minute and 15 seconds. Does that make sense? Make sure this you have int in front of these, otherwise it screws up. Okay, so survived text. This is basically the text that we want to appear on the screen. And we are going to render, because we're not importing an image, we're not doing anything like that, we're actually having Pi physically create the text. You gotta do font.render. And then we're gonna do string minutes. We don't want a gap in between our colon and our minutes or seconds, right? So that's why we make this a string, string minutes, and then that gives us that gives us the ability to have our numbers right next to the colon, just like you do on a stopwatch or whatever. Plus the number of seconds. True, you don't have that, it doesn't work. I can't remember what it does. And then this is the color. Are you guys familiar with RGB values? Yes. yes. Red, green, blue values? Yeah. So, so basically with RGB values, you have a value from zero to 255 for red, blue, and green. Those are the primary colors of light. Yeah, primary colors of light. Primary colors of pigment are, does anyone know? Cyan, yellow, magenta, yes. Um, with light, it's red, green, and blue. Or cyan, actually no, I think it's red, green, blue. So, zero means there's absolutely none of that color in this color. So obviously there's zero red in this and there's there's zero green. Excuse me. And 255 is the maximum value you can have for a color. So if we have zero red, zero green, and all the blue, what color is this going to be? Jack? Oh, it's gonna be blue. If I wanted black, what would I do? Black is what? The absence of color. So I would have I would have zero, zero, zero. That would be black. If I wanted white, what would I put? White would be 255, 255, 255. And if there is a very specific color you would like to use, let's say you guys want to use maroon, you can go RGB value maroon. Yes, I was looking at furniture. Sorry. And so, guys, right here you can RGB one twenty eight comma zero comma zero one thirty nine. That'll give you dark red. This weird brown. That's how you get that brown color. That's how you get fire brick. That's how you get crimson. And you can do this with blue colors. And you can have Alice blue. You can have light steel blue. So you can just go through whatever color you want, you can figure, you can get the color, color sheer for. Jack and then Mason. Could you use the hex code to do it? Uh, I actually don't know, I haven't tried it. Do you know what the hex code stands for? Why it's hex? I don't know why it's hex code, but I know what it is. Well, you guys should take my computer networking class. It's hexadecimal. So instead of, you know how binary is base 2? Hexadecimal is base 16. So instead of using numbers like 0 through 9, it also uses A through F, which is why black is F, 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 F. Because it's the maximum of each color, um, but it's with hexadecimal as opposed to uh, decimals. So, fun little fact. Hexadecimal is used a lot in... Um, IP, it is the format for IPv6 addresses. Do you know what IP address is? The IP address you're familiar with is IPv4, and there's only like 4.2 billion of those, and all of those have been claimed. Um, so they came out with IPv6, which has like two to the 100, I think it's two to the 128th power of minus one addresses. So it's, it's a lot. It's 128 bit, I can't remember, but it's essentially unlimited. Anyway, so zero dot zero, so that's black, or that's blue. 
Then again, we need to make our text rectangle. Oh, I'm sorry, Mason. Uh, how do you jump to a line in the show? Like, I see you only type in a number and it goes to the line. In the shell? Or like in the program. Oh, in the pro. Oh, yeah. you hit Alt G and you type in the line and it takes you there. You can also down here in the bottom right, you see how it says LN5? That's line 95. So if you have a lot of code, it says in, you have an error in line 128. You can go 114, 130. So my, my error is in line 128 and it tells you right down here. Um, so where were we? Oh yeah, text rect, you have to create a rectangle around it as well. Text rect dot top right, we're telling it the top right corner. This is the coordinates of where we want our text box to be, and then we blit it. We blit the survive text, which is where we want what we want, and we blit it where we want. You might be able to get rid of get wrecked and that and just have 635.5. Five. I haven't tried that, so maybe you guys want to do that. Do you guys have questions on how this works at all? Thorn. When you're saying text rec top right, are you saying where the top right corner of the the text rectangle will be? Yeah, that's exactly it. And now that now that you clarified that, I was thinking in my head top left. Uh, you could do it with top left, but you would obviously have to scoot it over a little bit. Um, this this guarantees that it's five pixels in from the left side of the screen. Um, and five or from the right side of the screen and five pixels down so it matches your health value on the other side so it's even so your HUD kind of looks the same any other questions yes no maybe so really wow okay um What, I w what you guys w probably will want to do is mess around with the size. Uh, I wouldn't mess around with the minutes or seconds. Mess around with the colors here uh, and the location here. But you guys can feel free. And where does this go? Right here. Oh, control. All right, so I'll give you guys a minute to copy that down. I'm gonna stop the video while you guys do that. 